The Order is a brand new show from Netflix, original series. It's a mix of Harry Potter, True Blood, Magic and Witches, Werewolf. It's going to be good to set up in a college camp. It's worth it, your time to spend 10 episodes in almost 10 hours, or pass it. It's one of those Netflix shows. It's not worth it as your time. Your reviews with me, Frankie D. Don't forget to subscribe. The Order, the new original series from Netflix. Coming up. Okay, we have a brand new show called The Order. The story of Jack Morton, a kid who graduated going to college with a special college. He wanted to be in this college, he had a scholarship to go to this school and to enter in the order. Uh, we know there's something to do with witches and magic and the special power that people have. And why this kid want to go there and how they got in. It's part of the story without giving you any spoilers. But this is the story of this, the order, a cult inside the school and the college crown with witches and magic. But at the same time, it's another cult. They call the night, and those are werewolf. And for some reason, something happened to Jack. I've been kind of in the middle of a boat. There are 10 episodes. Most of the episodes are 45 minutes to 50 minutes set up for young kids in a college ground. You know, they're just going with teenagers and romance and kisses. But at the same time, the story is becoming a little monotonous. A little easy to see in the first four episodes, but after the first four episodes, it started getting interesting. And in the fifth, it switched a little bit of the show and it started getting like, okay, now we go in some place. And it's a story, very interesting. The kid lost his mom, she suicide, and uh, he wanted revenge because the men person and that call is responsible for this one but at the same time a lot of things from his family a lot of things from the cult or the night they are uh, the werewolf they are supposed to fight in all these magic and witches uh it became interesting the kids are very cool this is the canadian show most of the people if you see show from canada that get a lot of it but uh, Almost every single show is built in Canada and made in Canada and being here. So you know a lot of these actors from Canadian shows, uh, Continuum, I don't know, it's just so many shows in Canada. But you don't recognize many of these kids, but they're well act, they're funny, uh, they are interesting in the show. And I gotta tell you, after the fifth episode, I wanna see the end. I want to see how that end. It got a good ending in the first season and a great twist that I didn't expect and it touched me there. I, I really, you get me guys? I didn't think it's going to go in that way and it go that way. So they open it perfect for a season two. Is it worth it to me? Is it watch, a must watch or just forget about it? Just watch something else on Netflix. In my opinion, if you like this kind of story of witches and uh, werewolf, you're gonna like it if you are a younger person you're gonna even like it more and uh it's a light romance story action a little bit of fights and it's well made and to me it's worth it to watch it yes the order from netflix to me it's worth it it's a good show until the next time i hope you like what i did if you did give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down uh, and support your movie theaters, support your TV shows, support your video games, and give me a hand, support me, and subscribe my face with you that's here. All my other reviews and movies and TV shows are here. Until the next time, thank you for coming back, all the first time. Till the next time, ciao.